I missed you guys. It's been three weeks. We missed, so we missed a week because Doug and I recorded episode 18, um, but we later decided against it because we weren't we weren't up to posting it. Um, week 19, I was on vacation, so Huntsville, Chattanooga, um, spent some time with some friends in Chattanooga, the guys from Hand Up Gloves. Um, got to go to a baseball game with them, hang out, see some of the new top secret stuff that is getting ready to release shortly. And then last week, I screwed up. There was audio issues and that's that's on me. I don't I still don't know what was wrong, but hopefully we have it fixed now. So we're back for 21. Um, so we missed a lot. There's a lot that's gone on. We could talk about like trip to Chattanooga, Huntsville, but you guys don't really, I don't really want to bore you with that. That was my vacation. That's the first time my wife and I have been able to get away in more than two years. Last year, a week before we were going to go on vacation, she roller skated and, and you guys know what happened from there. Um, and things got a little dip, a little complicated. Um, so it was just nice to get away. Didn't take phones anywhere. Didn't check email. Didn't do any of that stuff for work. It was nice to be able to do something else. Um, and then really for the last month for me, it's been, uh, it's been a lot. There've been, there, I've taken on a lot more responsibility at work. Um, I've taken on a lot more responsibility with training load um, and then still trying to maintain all the other things. So do the laundry, be a good husband, be a good partner, be a good friend, all of those things there. There's just a lot of, a lot of big chunks of time that are being sucked up right now. So. Um, that's been, that's been complicated for me. So it's actually, for me, it's nice that Doug is having a stressful week because it's nice to have some, some company in my misery. Um, but what I want to talk about is, is it next Thursday? Next Thursday? Yeah. Next Thursday, we are doing a stage race symposium. Doug and I are emceeing it right here in Road ID HQ. So if you were to join us, you could see the podcast studio. You could see where all of the magic happens. Um, and you can see that it's really not that magical. But it's a cool location. Uh, and we are we are having uh, Monira, is that how you say her name? From BC Bike Race. So she puts on that monster of event. She's flying in. Uh, we have some local people who have done a bunch of stage races, some big regional names as well. It's coming in, are going to be our panel of guests. And like I said, Doug and I are going to be emceeing it. Um, and it's come one, come all, come see Road ID HQ, bring your questions about what mountain bike stage racing is all about, um, bring your suggestions of how we could bring stage racing to Cincinnati, because I think we all have our own unique ideas on how we could potentially do something like that. But above all else, come say, come hang out with us, come, come hang out with cool people who want to put on bike races and, and, and Monira, who's putting on one of the biggest stage races in the country and, um, yeah, just come talk about bikes. So that's really, that's it for me this week. Um, it's it's a short episode for me. So uh, really just prepping prepping for next week. And I just got done with a great conversation with with uh, Andy Aiello from the Transit Authority of Northern Kentucky. And, and it's for any of you that worry when we don't have bike-centric guests on the show, this was a badass episode. He's a really, really smart dude, loves mountain biking. Um, so we talked about transportation, mountain biking, cycling, infrastructure, advocacy, all of, you know, all of our, our hot button issues. So, um, great episode's going to come out in a couple weeks and, uh, got a good one for you this week with Brandon Davis. Be sure to download that. Ellen Noble's mechanic, um, coach head of, of Wattage Cottage, which is probably the best name in all of, of, uh, cycling coaching, um, Loves working on Ducati motorcycles. Told some great stories about being a dad and how it's changed his life. Just a very down-to-earth, really, really intelligent, curious human being and, and, and made for a great interview. So that's this week's guest. Be sure to download that. Um, hit up notifications, subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, and download, subscribe to the podcast, leave us a review, leave us a comment below. Just tell us what you think and interact with us. And if not, we will see you next Thursday at Road ID right outside that door where we're going to be talking about mountain bike stage racing. So that's it for me this week. This is John. 
Peace. Peace.